Hi family, welcome to the Car Pathway of Picking. Before we get started on this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'd never miss a single video. Hello everyone, welcome to the Car Pathway of Cooking. My name is Alicia. Today, I want to show you how to make oxtails. And this is the way I make mine, okay? And we have oxtails here. And they have been cleaned and washed. I washed them in salt water, cold salt water. And these were kind of fatty. I took majority of the fat off, but I did want to leave some fat on it for the flavor. These are the smaller ones, and these are some of the bigger ones, okay? They look kind of choppy because I cut some of the fat off of them. Okay, let me take my gloves off and show you the ingredients that we're gonna need. You're gonna need some beef broth, and this is 32 ounces. My favorite, garlic powder, onion powder. Also gonna need some black pepper, and I like to use cavenders. It's an all Greek purpose seasoning, and I love using Maggie. It's a Maggie seasoning. This is a German seasoning. You can find it in most grocery stores. You will also need an onion. I just rough chopped the onion. This is a large onion. And we need some flour. This is some rising flour. And in this pan I have heating up here, it's a little oil. And I will explain to you what I'm going to do when I get to that point. Let me turn my heat up a little more because I want my oil to be hot and I'm going to season the oxtail. How are you all doing today? Today is Sunday, April, what is it, the 10th, 19th? Y'all, yeah. I'm getting my days mixed up. But um, this is Sunday. I'm gonna season the oxtails. I like to use I like to use a lot of seasoning, family, especially the garlic and the onion powder. It doesn't have salt in it. It just gives it really good flavor. And I'm just showing you a demonstration of how you can make yours. It's up to you. It's powder from the onion powder. Black pepper. You use the seasonings that you love. Get some cavenders. Cavenders has salt in it and black pepper, but I like to add a little more black pepper to mine. Cavender seasoning. And Maggie. The maggot is um, concentrated. You don't need a whole lot. But it brings amazing flavor to your oxtail. And I'm just gonna take my hand and mix them, mix the seasoning in there. The best thing to do, family, is to do this the night before and let it marinate in the refrigerator overnight. But I was so busy yesterday and last night, I didn't have a chance to. But normally, I would um, marinate it, season it, and let it marinate overnight. And we have a busy day today, but I got up this morning and I was like, well, I'm just gonna have to um, get up and season it and cook it. But when you cook yours, Season it, clean your oxtail, season it, put it in your refrigerator overnight. And your seasoning is going to 
tenderize your oxtails as well. Okay. I have my oil heating up, and what I like to do is put my oxtails and my flour. I like to dredge them in the flour. And this is going to make a gravy once I put them in the oven and once it's done, that this way you don't have to make a gravy because this flour is going to um, make the gravy for you. And what I'm going to do is sear them. My oil is pretty hot. Let me remove this, let it cool down a little bit. And I will be right back. All right, family, I am back. I went on and put my oxtails in the flour and I'm going to coat them with the flour. And what I need to do next, shake it off a little bit. And all I'm going to do is just brown the oxtail. Just need to brown them. Try to brown, brown it on all sides. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of them in there, but we're gonna try. Yeah, that don't get ready to ask you while I'm gonna fit in that pan there. It may, cause I have two small ones. Oh, okay. And one more? Yep, get a bit. Yep. That's that. Okay. Let me know if you ever cook oxtails before. This is one way you can cook them the way I'm going to. Brown the oxtails and put them in the oven. Another way you can cook them on top of your stove. And once the oxtails are brown, I'm going to put them in this pan that I have that's going into the oven. And this doesn't take much time to brown them. You're not cooking them. See, the, I'm just browning them. You have a shot of that, mm -hmm. Just flip them over. I just want to brown them to get a crust on it because this is where your gravy is going to come from. See, I just want to brown them. And it's gonna make some golden delicious gravy. Some people use, um, what is it, kitchen um, boutique, I think that's the name of it. I used to have some, but it expired and I threw it out. But this is another way you can um, make your gravy. All right, I'm gonna keep turning these. And when I get ready to um, take them out of the pan, I will come back. I see you on the flip side. All right, family, we are back. I just want to show you, this is what your meat should look like. I browned it all around, and I'm gonna transfer it to this um, aluminum pan. I have my oven preheating on 400 degrees, and that's Fahrenheit. And I'm going to let the oxtails cook about three hours because you want them 
tender. Look at this. This is going to make gravy. This is going to make your delicious gravy, and I am going to put this in there too. What are those called, Alicia? Fun, if that's what you okay, want. Okay, that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this the good stuff, y'all. Trying to drain some of the oil off of it, but hey, don't leave it behind. This is gonna give you more intense flavor. Oxtails around here are very expensive. The commissary happen to have them at a reasonable price. And these were like, for one pack, and I'm using two packs, but one pack was like seven dollars and some change. So I was like, okay, we need to get, we need to get these because normally they run anywhere from thirteen to twenty-one dollars a pack. Okay, I think I got enough of that fun out. And what I need to do at this point is add my onions. this whole container of beef broth. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. If you're revisiting, thank you. And I'm welcoming you too. I have my oven preheating. And what I'm going to do, this is so all we need to do right here. And I'm going to put aluminum foil on it very tight to keep all the heat in inside. I'm going to place it in the oven and let it cook. About three hours until tender. Because I want them tender. Very tender. All right. Very tight. I'm waiting on my oven to heat up. I haven't heard the beat yet. But um, once it heats up, I'm gonna put it in the oven for three hours and I will catch you on the flip side and I will be dressed and I will be able to talk to you in the camera. That's my signal. All right, we'll catch you on the flip side. All right, family, we are back. It only took three hours. It's a little later now. Hubby and I had a very important meeting to attend earlier, but we are back. But I want you to just um, look at this gravy and these oxtails. This is what the oxtails look like with the gravy on them. But look at the gravy that it made. Just put it in the oven and let it do its thing. Let it do what it do. And you got some brown gravy and some very tender oxtails. Look at that gravy. Didn't have to add nothing to it. All right, we're gonna plate this up and we're gonna come back and cameraman is going to taste it for you. We'll be right back. All right, family, 
We are back. I just fixed Jacob's plate. He's going to taste. He's going to taste the oxtails, and I made some rice and some black eyed peas. So come on and taste this. All right. We, we want a true reaction. This is the cameraman. I'm getting ready to try these oxtail, everybody. They are tender, too. Very tender. I mean, real tender. Show them how tender it is. See that just falling off the bone? Mm -hmm. Say like uh, my brother-in-law Mike, I'm hungry than all get up, Tidy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If you haven't subscribed, family, please go ahead and do so. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't just don't know. Mm. <laughs> I'm saying it's so tender to it in this brown gravy. Mm. I got me a little bit of black eyed peas on the side, you can see. Try this one again. This one is good. It tastes good too. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Mm. Mm. All right. Oh, what is so tender? What else you gonna tell the family? Try this recipe for one. And always remember, family, to stay humble and kind. It goes a long ways. Black eyed peas and rice. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like that. Better than that, baby. Better than that. You need a chair. When I go to the camera, <laughs> I will have my chair. All right, family, we're gonna close this video out. Please give these oxtails a try. I only let them cook for three hours until tender. And it made its own gravy because I put it, um, I browned it in the flour, in the oil with the flour. Makes its own gravy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Until next time, we will catch you on the next video. Definitely need to try it. All right. I need to try it. Okay. You want to close out the camera or do I have to hang my plate? Hang my plate so you can go. Uh, well, uh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. I'll close uh, it out. Okay. Go in front. Go in front. Go in I'm front. going. All right, y'all. Y'all see how we do? Mommy in there. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you give me one more bite? Come up a little closer then. Does so the family can... need to see it? Yeah, they need to see it. Much more closer. This? Mm-hmm. Up, down, to the right. Okay, family. So good. All right, Michael. I'm hungry than all get up, like you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you all next time.